I almost burnt my pizza, sorry. So I got it out. Let's see if we can do this now. Uh, this way, this way. No, those should have been pan head screws instead of it through the carbon. I'm going to do it, but I'm going to change these screws out, I think. I don't like it. something in that last one. No, those need to be bigger. Let's put them in the uh, Conix itself. They look to be two mil. Two millimeter screws. Let's see if I have some. Looks nice. Oh, I like it. That's the one. One, two, three, four. together beforehand so I know what's going on. Turn on the light.
like a cross threaded in there thing. Still looks like shit. I don't know what it could be. It's in there tight. Alright, that's that. There's the uh, pro site on there. I might have put it on backwards, but we'll find out after I start installing the rest. Let's go with the antenna. How about that? We'll move this off to the side. Move this into. And his antenna goes on like this. And I like that. So we go into our little bag here, the ProSight antenna mounting screw kit. Let's do it. The problem with this is that they're all Phillips screws. They're two millimeter Phillips screws. That's all right. Let's go with it. Oh, we'll show these through here. Oh wait, do they want me to use that washer? Or do you think a washer goes on the bottom? It don't fit in the top hole, so I assume it goes on the bottom. I like Joe's little design here. When I was in Muncie at the Nationals, the Finals, I wanted to pick one of these up, but so much shit was going on, so let's see. liking it. Now, I guess, the camera, right? It's got to be right here in my pile. Here, camera, 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 camera. Let's grab the camera accessory kit. That's it. I put a few of these together already. This conic system. And it's pretty easy. Oops, there goes the camera. How about that? <laughs> so here's the camera. And look at that. Joe set it up so that I don't need nothing but two screws. Joe set it up so I don't need nothing but two screws. Nice, Joe. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Where are those two screws? Oh, I see them. I don't think they'll be long enough. Maybe if I take the uh, washer off them. I got some other screws from my box that work better. And I decided to leave the two that came with it in the camera bag. That's it. Right. So... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, that's a Chinese screw. Oh, 
it's this Chinese screw again. Swap this one around. I don't think it's any different, but we'll try. All right, this, I'll put a screw in, maybe one, two, where's my red one? Red, red. Let's see here. the conic system is in there um, I don't know about this antenna it's tight um, it's putting a little stress on the antenna it's touching the board which is all right. Um, what else? We got a lot of tilt on that camera. Huh? Nice little cut out there, Joe. Um, what else? What else? I'm digging it. So now we'll pull out the four. TBS ESCs and I'm not sure if I'm going to run the Cyclone or the Tempest I am not sure I'm going to run the Cyclone or the Tempest What do you think? The 
there's so much room in there. I could fit, yeah, I could fit the whole thing. Hmm. Not enough to shrink it down. Like if I wanted to bring it down. Anyway, there it is. We'll get to this next part of the build in a little bit. Okay. We're back on this Conex build with the Detroit Multi-Rotors X-Con. And I was thinking of going with the uh, Tempest flight controller. However, there's nowhere to pull the VBAT for the Connex system. There's no way to pull it. I mean, I guess I could take a take something out of here and pigtail it, or pigtail it out of out of the uh, XT60. Um, and I just thought that kind of be a mess, you know. And I had a PDB and a flight controller that are normal so I decided to go that route so I the Tempest didn't have a VBAT battery voltage out big enough to support the Connex lead that came with the Connex system which is this lead here see I guess I could have cut it here but then it would have been too short to, to reach the board and uh, I didn't like that idea either so we're gonna still cut it but um, we're gonna use these full what is this 14 14 gauge alright so that's where we're at I'm gonna go with the cyclone um, because I need the board to pull the power for the conix I need the PDB and then uh, we're going with the TBS ESCs. And I'm going to get this all set up. 